Hi there, I'm Ben. I'm a paleontologist from Selborne, Australia, and I'm quite fascinated by the world around us. And today, what we're going to be doing is travelling back more than 50 million years to look at the 10 coolest whales that have ever existed. We're going to be looking at the whales that walked on land, others that tried to mimic walruses when they were alive. We're going to be looking at others that had spear-like teeth projecting out of their gums. And we're also going to be looking at some of the largest macro predators the world has ever seen. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. So let's get started with number 10. At number 10, we've got Basilosaurus, the giant of the late Eocene, getting up to at least 18 meters in length. And what I love so much about it is its bizarre skull. Look at those heckin' big chompers right at the back end of its jaw. It was eating other whales when it was alive. We've got documented evidence of it doing this. The other fact that I love so much about Basilosaurus is where you can find the majority of its remains, in the middle of the Egyptian desert. Of course, Egypt's 34 million years ago was the Tethys Ocean. Fascinating. Wow. At number nine, we've got the white patiots, those bizarre spear toothed dolphins that range throughout the Oligocene. They've been found in New Zealand, Australia, and Northern America as well, and possibly other parts of the world. And what makes them so incredibly strange are their precumbent incisors, these tusks that project out of the gun line right at the end of their jaws, and we're not entirely sure why they have them at all, whether they're used for sparring amongst one another, sexual dimorphism, some individuals have them worn right to the gum line, so they're quite clearly using them for something. Next, you have been stopped. Number eight, we've got Acrophyceta, the smallest of the macroraptorial sperm whales that swam off the coast of Peru in the Miocene period. And one thing that is so incredibly striking about this animal is its terrifying skull. Look at those chompers, those interlocking teeth. It is unlike any modern sperm whale that you can find today. Researchers believe that this was a whale that despite its size was still even eating other large vertebrates for its time. Maybe even other whales. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. At number seven, we've got Myocetus, the semi-aquatic walking whale from Pakistan. And what's remarkable about it, other than the fact that it was semi-aquatic and walking on land, was the fact that there was an incredible specimen found with the baby still preserved inside of the mother. Its head was facing the birthing canal, as opposed to modern whales, which are birthed from the tail first. It suggests that Myocetus, even though it was a whale, was still giving birth on land in the Middle Eocene. <laughs> Number six, we've got Jangicetus, the bizarre toothed baleen whale from southern Australia from the latest Oligocene at about 25 million years of age. I mean, check out its skull. It's got these great big goofy looking eyes on its head. Of course, it couldn't echolocate because it was not a dolphin. It was a baleen whale. And when you think of baleen whales today, they've got these big keratinous racks in the upper mouth called baleen, that they used to filter out gigantic quantities of water. Jangicetus didn't have that. It had sharp raptorial dentition, perfect for slicing and dicing its prey. It allowed us a unique morphological snapshot into the evolution of baleen whales. At number five, we've got the walrus mimic from Peru in Chile, from the latest Miocene to the earliest Pliocene, Odo Bonosotops. Have a look at its skull. You can see why they called it the walrus mimic. It's actually lost the ability to echolocate in at least one of the species. And the males have these very enlarged tusks that go along the side of their body. They show extreme sexual dimorphism between both males and females. 
The tusk in some cases can be up to 1.33 meters in length. They are truly bizarre. I spilled lipstick in your Valentino bag. Oh, you smell! Whoa, whoa. And number four is the blue whale. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to ask a lot of really annoying questions to teachers. I remember one time I was on the basketball court and I went up to my teacher and I asked, Sir, sir, what's the biggest animal ever? He looked at me and he said, Ben, run the length of the basketball court. And I went, Oh, but sir, I didn't do anything wrong. And he said, just, just trust me, just run the length of the basketball court, you'll never forget it. And so I ran the length of the basketball court I said, what do you make me do that for? And he said, Ben, a blue whale is the same size as a basketball court. It's 30 meters in length. It's the biggest creature the world has ever seen. And I will never, ever forget that. I mean, if you're an animal that can give birth to a baby that's seven meters long, you're definitely gonna be on this list. Okay. In at number three, we've got the beaked whales, and I'm using them as a big general collective term because they are bizarre. They're the deepest diving mammals on the planet. They can hold their breath for over two hours and dive almost three kilometers below the surface of the water. Some have tusks coming out of their lower jaw that go all the way over the top of their nose. Others have the densest bone ever recorded in the animal kingdom, their nose or rostrum. And I think why I love them so much is because we still know so very little about them. A new species of beaked whale was named only last year, in 2019. can't go much further without mentioning the stem whale Pachycetus in at number two, the walking whale of Indo-Pakistan at about 50 million years of age. And if you took a time machine back to 50 million years ago in the early Eocene, you would have seen an animal that looked remarkably like a Labrador and an otter mixed together. What we see in the fossil record are these incredible transitional forms that demonstrate how an animal like Pachycetus could have gone back into the water to become a true whale. And for that reason alone, it's one of the coolest. Before we get to number one, honorable mention to the pygmy sperm whales. They're hella cool with their cranial asymmetry. But now, number one. <laughs> the one, the only, the largest macroraptorial sperm whale of the moor. It dominated the oceans from the late Miocene all the way to the early Pliocene. The Leviathan, the killer sperm whale of the deep. With a skull the size of a small car, teeth shaped like artillery shells, it rivaled the Megalodon when it was alive. There is a huge question over whether or not it ate other baleen whales, and it's a question scientists are still trying to resolve to this day. These are the top 10 coolest whales of all time, according to your boy, Ben Out. What's up y'all, it's your boy Ben. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit those buttons. And I have a question for you. What's your coolest world? Chuck it in the comments below. Ben out.